Hi there, I'm Jacqueline Forvero, and we recently visited Case Corini and had the opportunity to do a flight tasting of four vintages of their Barla Barbera wine. And we got to see what vintage variations cropped up amongst these four vintages. So join us today to explore these vintage variations with the winemakers. Sixth generation, Guido and Luisa Corino. So it is time to taste some wine. So what do we have here today in front of us? Uh, in front of us uh, we have um, different vintages of uh, our oldest vineyard. The name is Barla and um, just a, a small introduction. The variety are Barbera, the plant are um, our, is, is our best vineyard uh, as well is the, the vineyard that represent more the story and the philosophy of uh, Casa Corini. Um, the village is around, uh, the, the, the vineyard is around uh, two hectares and a half, uh, um, Barbera mainly, 95%, and um, very old uh, wines, uh, the, they were planted around uh, 1925, 1928, so we are close to one, uh, one second, one, uh, 100 years uh, old. Um, the tasting will be around the different vintages from uh, 2018 to 2011. Uh, not all of uh, our philosophy is doing uh, vintages. Uh, the vintages should be a vintage. Mm -hmm. I mean, different, uh, all of them. Um, in 2019, 2018, 2017, 16, and 2011. That is a kind of uh, late harvest. Okay. So, uh, 2018, it was not a real good vintage. Good vintage means uh, the perfect condition during all the year long. Mm -hmm. Um, and in that vintage, they, they maybe the quantity is a little bit higher because the, the, the and but the quality is not the top that we can reach. 2016 is a good compromise between quality and quantity. 17 is a very young late harvest of Barbera, and uh, the last one, 2011, is uh, is um, is the relationship with our past. I mean, we should be still a very good wine and um, with this, the same potential of 2017, but 10 years later, 80 years later. Uh, if the quality of the grapes are good and the season was good, means good, a good balance between hot summer, good spring and fresh uh, fall, uh, grapes good makes good wine. So the analysis, they can confirm this, but our uh, strategy, is our philosophy is more tasting. And when the grapes are good, the vinification and the aging can be around uh, four years, four years and a half before then go to the bottles. When the, the vintage is not good because uh, the weather was not good or we did some mistake, so we forgot to do something in the right moment, and the quality of the grapes in autumn are not perfect, we expect the vintage and maybe we do a little bit of less maturation and we bottle one year before. And at the same time, so the, the aging of the wine will be not longer as in the best, mm -hmm. in the best vintages. Right, because I remember um, the Barla vintage you didn't release them linearly. Yeah. You released, for example, the 2016 was released after vintages that came later. So what, what for example, brought you to that decision? It did just it seemed like it had more to give or? Yeah, the, the, when you put in the bottle, you, you close the wine in a place that can brief only for this part of the, the, the bottle, the cork. If you leave it in the barrel, the wood helps. Uh, I mean, the, the, the aging go faster in the barrel instead of the bot instead of the bottle. 
we take the, this kind of decision for our experience uh, of this kind of wine. And we know that uh, if they are good now, with no problem, they can stay more in the barrel and after in the bottle. If they are close to be drinkable, I mean, for our taste, we go to the bottles a little bit before. Two thousand eighteen uh, is a, a kind of example of very uh, normal vintage, uh, where the characteristic of Barbera are easy to to find uh, mm -hmm. uh, in the in the taste, in the nose before and in the mouth uh, after. Wow, it has a really lovely deep nose, kind of um, jammy balsamic. Smooth. Smooth, yeah. <laughs> For the customer that they know our mm -hmm. philosophy and story, uh, we, we, every year we try to, to reach the, 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 the peak of the, the, the ripeness and the complexity in the vineyard. This is a good wine with, uh, good, with good acidity, with good uh, fruits, but not so strong. Uh, not a real full, full body. Now we taste, uh, we, we follow the, 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 years. the number, the years, the, years. the numbers. Mm -hmm. that sometimes it's not correct, but we, we, we try to do. Okay. And uh, a small uh, two words about 17. Uh, the, the weather in the 17 was uh, like 2011. Uh, but uh, the difference is that in 2011 uh, it was uh, a, a dry season between uh, a lot of wet season. So the plant, they, they were um, able to bring water from the soil. Mm -hmm. 2017, uh, it was really dry between uh, dry season. So different situation. Okay. So, like everywhere in Piemonte, really dry, very hot summer, especially August. Okay. And September was uh, the average like this, this year. Very, very small production, like 2011. In benches is very dry and... Uh, the, there's a probably a little bit of residual sugar and that really helps to add to the roundness, to the softness. It makes it Yeah, very Barbera is a variety that uh, if you like Barbera, <laughs> the, the acidity helps, uh, especially in the aging. Mm -hmm. And if you have some sugar left, the, the combination with the high acidity, high. Now it's smooth, but it's, it's still alive, helps it to be to be appreciated, the, 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 the wine. We, we like a lot this kind of combination. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, doing a simple Barbera is a, is a good way to do wine, but when it's possible, trying to reach the more complexity of the fruits and the sugar and the acidity is our... It is takes it? a masterful hand to, to blend everything together <laughs> into... It's a wine that you can leave 10 years more. It, and it'll age easily yeah. another 10 yeah. years. Yeah, we, with absolutely no problem. I think that the right moment to doing this kind of combination is at least 10 years. Oh, okay. So 17, so 20, 20. Spot. Yeah, because the sweetness in the bottle, it takes time to be a little bit more um, smoothy with the acidity. 2027 can be a good a good year okay. to drink. Wow. That's One more? All right. One 2018 more. or 2016, 
less sweetness. It was a very balanced vintage, 2016. Mm -hmm. Quantity and quality together, um, with no problem. I mean, good fermentation, four years in the, in the barrels, uh, the, the, the perfect project that sometimes happens. <laughs> Four years in the, in the yeah. barrels? Wow. Yeah. It is. It's a little less sweet yeah. than the 2017, but at the same time, it still has a lovely complexity to it. It's beautiful in its own way. It's a little bit, little. it cuts a little bit more. It's a little bit less chewy. And so it has its beauty in that, that I think you could probably drink more of the 2016 without it getting jammy in your mouth. Yeah, exactly. It's definitely yeah. much more, which talks to the point that you were saying it's ready now. It's enjoyable it's ready, it's now. ready now. Now yeah. it's, it's hitting its sweet spot. Yeah. In, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the sweetness is not anymore from the sugar left, but it's from the, the high ripeness during the harvest. Mm -hmm. 2011. 2011, okay. yeah. Special vintage. Um, this was our labels uh, since uh, 2015. Okay. With the front label and back labels uh, different after we change uh, a little bit our, our labels to uh, improve a little bit some information. Mm -hmm. We were talking about communication and the communication is very, really, really important. It, 11 was uh, one of the first really hot uh, season uh, since many years. 2003 mm -hmm. was really, really hot. And after long period with our average of weather, 11 was the first one after 2003. It was really hot. Really hot and dry. Now every year is like 11. Si è abbastanza unico. It's got non ti sbagli. It's got an acidity that's still very present, but it's still super round and soft. Mm. Come piace a me? Mm. <laughs> and è morbido. Wow. Mm -hmm. mm. È no? morbido mm. e avvolgente. Mm. Mm. Ti proprio ti mm, è un È una, una forma di meditazione. No, sì, un vino un po' mm. da meditazione. Yes, ah. it's definitely... Mm. Ne basta pochissimo e ti, ti proprio ti, ti coccola, no? Mm -hmm. Ti dà quella cosa oh, e ti, ti soddisfa, non hai bisogno di... Questa mia bottiglia a casa mia potrebbe durare due mesi. Sì. Mm. Posso capire, no? È... It has a lot of notes, like a passito, kind of, mm. that late, late harvest comes out. But at the same time, it's not licoroso. No, it's not. It's not like it's not like a. Um, it's not like a liquor or mm. a, an after dinner drink. But at the same time, it has a lot of those same characteristics. It's absolutely stunning. We are still waiting for a new 2011. Still waiting. Still waiting. Yeah. Will you let me know when it? <laughs> 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 Maybe this year. We don't know. Oh. It I has this year has been hot, so uh, yeah. <laughs> we will see in one month. We we are drinking the the rain the from 2011. The rain from 2011 is mm. very tasty. <laughs> it's very tasty, but it's, it's true. I mean, the roots they were drinking the rain mm -hmm. in the 2011. They they combine. With uh, a kind of mystic and uh, and fantastic in the, in the importance of soil management from generations yeah. past and no, but is I think that is the ninety percent of what we are drinking is water mm -hmm. and uh, and the water is from two thousand eleven <laughs> the the magic side of the wine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing this wonderful 
vertical tasting of Barla through the years with us. We've drank a 2018, 17, 16, and then this absolute delight of 2011, which was Louise's favorite <laughs> and well-picked. So yeah, thank you so much, guys. It's thank been, you, Jackie. Thank you. Yeah. It's been a wonderful, wonderful trip to Casa Corini. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you too. Vero, Vero Vino. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can find all. Um, you can find some of Case Corine's wines on our website at verovino.com in the Vero shop, and you can do your own vertical tasting at home with the with some Bar Barla and many other wines like the Achille, Centine, and um, some also some single vintage wines there as well. So head to the Verovino shop and check it out.